Oh, a Colorado fire crew is among nearly 3,000 firefighters working to put out almost 100 fires in Canada. And as our 11 breaking weather team has been saying for the past week, that's where all that smoke that we've seen hanging over the front range has been coming from. This right here is a typical view from our Cheyenne Mountain cam looking at Pikes Peak. This is a screen grab from a while ago, obviously before we started seeing all that smoke. Take a look at what it's been looking like lately outside, though. It's a live view right here, and you can't even see Pikes Peak. So much smoke hanging over the air. 11 News reporter Aaron Vinito is live for us tonight. You spoke with the department here in the state who sent a crew to fight what was once more than 100 fire fi uh, fires, I should say, in the province of Alberta. And that number has gone down. In the last few minutes, the Canadian International Forest Fire Center reports 69 fires from the area, down from 71 reported earlier today, but still a pretty high number. Even more than 1,500 miles away, we are still seeing major impacts from that smoke. Take a look behind me even. You can just barely make out the silhouette of the mountain right in front of us. And the further out you get, the worse that visibility is. Even from here, just like the camera, you cannot see Pikes Peak. Now let's switch gears, show you some video from over the weekend. This is from the front lines of that fire. The Bureau of Land Management sent the Craig Interagency Hotshot Crew from right here in Colorado to go help. They say they are one of several crews sent out to national emergencies. And this international call is unique, but not unlike large emergencies the Craig Hotshots have responded to. In fact, the crew helped out in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. I asked the state fire management officer what he would say to the crew if he was up there with them right now. Well, I think the first thing I do is thank them for their hard work and dedication to the, the firefighting mission. Um, obviously, these crews and a lot of our fires, firefighters spend a lot of time away from home. And although it's a rare opportunity to get to do an international assignment such as this, it's still taxing on the families and folks that they leave behind at home. They tell me this is an elite crew and they have been making progress that they hope we see here in the skies of Colorado in the coming days. And some good news in that firefight, our 11 breaking weather team says they've been seeing some pretty decent rain in the area right? It's lately and they hope to see more in the future. Live in Colorado Springs, Aaron Vitito, KKTV 11 News. Hopefully that'll help them and then eventually us too with all that smoke in the air. All right, Aaron, thank you. We'll turn things over to Brian now.